Okay, prep day 17. Getting up there already. So today's gonna be legs. Um, unfortunately, the last leg day video, uh, we were forced to take it down. Um, I didn't really receive any details on why it needed to take the video down. Um, it was a privacy violation, so I'm guessing maybe somebody in the background of one of the clips might have been bitching to YouTube. So we went ahead and removed the video for the time being, um, which is a shame because uh, I think a lot of people took some good insight out of that video. But yeah, it's all good. It's uh, it's actually it's actually pretty funny because that video was filmed like way in advance so <laughs> now I'm assuming I don't know 100% because nothing was neither confirmed nor denied but I have an idea of who this person was who might have filed a complaint and uh, it's it's pretty scary uh, what what people can do I mean I, I've never talked to this person before uh, who knows? There's a lot of people that know me. I don't know them. Um, but damn, she must have been on it, checking back daily on my YouTube channel to see when that video was posted. <laughs> so, so I can, I can, I can only imagine her just checking to see when that video was posted so she could file that complaint because it was it was filed pretty quickly. It was it was within a, a, like 24 hours of it being posted. So. It's all good. Um, I, I believe that was day 13 of prep. So who knows? Maybe at some point we'll just, uh, you know, blur her face out or, or, or put something over it and, and maybe possibly re-upload the video. But um, yeah, what are you going to do? People are going to bitch. You just got to you got to do your thing. And I think I even tried because uh, I didn't know exactly, uh, you know, what YouTube wanted me to do. So I was trying to use the, the blur tool um, that they offer. And, and Chick was just so far in the background, was like barely, barely visible in the uh, in the clip. And it, it just didn't work. It, it blurred my face out. Um, you know, there was no uh, there was no interaction with this person or anything. It was just somebody that had just happened, happened to be, you know, working out in the background or um, something that most of us, you know, wouldn't see as a big deal. Uh, but uh, yeah, some people just, they won't tell you right there that they're uncomfortable with it, but they'll go to the extent of, you know, trying to get the video taken down you know, without uh, contacting you first. So unfortunately you gotta just deal with those people in the world. So anyways, enough of that. Today's leg day. Um, we're gonna just try to hit everything, quads, calves, hamstrings, a little glutes, just, uh, just overall legs. So yeah, pulling up to the gym now. So I will see you guys inside. We live? All right, we're kicking it off with some squats today. When I got here, there was no safeties on here already, so we're just gonna leave them off. Honestly, I feel, if we're on the power rack, I feel a lot safer without the safeties. Just gives me more room. I get a little claustrophobic. I've been getting a little wide, so. We're just gonna leave them off today. So hopefully it helps the strength. These shorts, these are like on their way out. These ones are freaking hella snug. So 
if anybody's got a brand out there they do shorts let me know all right this is well no i can't remember if i squatted my last leg day so it's probably only been about a week's rest in between squats so we're going back to back 405 so i gotta put the knee sleeves on and I found this belt just kind of lying around. I think it's the gym's belt, but it's a, it's one of those old school leather buckle belts. I think I'm gonna put that on. And I'm gonna see if that makes a difference. Cause mine's just like one of the, one of the belts that are just for aesthetics. So I'm gonna try out a classic belt. How are the legs? Do I have any definition in them still? I don't know. Can never tell until after. All right, heel elevated right now. I usually don't go that heavy, but I think it's gonna be more comfortable today for me. So I'm gonna give it a try. Way deeper on that set. Got to mix it up a little bit. Okay. I know, I know, quads again, but there's a good reason for it. We're gonna kind of use this machine more as a superset with the goblet squat, so I'm not gonna go as heavy on this machine today. Oof. Okay, I could already sense the copyright coming. Okay. I've been playing around with the weight on this machine for a while. And what feels the best is like somewhere in the middle of the stack, like 210. So it doesn't hurt the knees. 
I'm gonna go one like big set. The reps are gonna start looking a little shitty towards the end, but that's the whole thing. Get partials, get as many. So we're going for like 25 right here, which is gonna be a lot for me. So. Now this is when we take out the small guns and just lock in and isolate. Quads are feeling full. So I think it's time to turn it over. It's like hamstrings or something else. I don't know, I feel like I got a little bit more hamstring control now, so the isolated hamstrings are feeling a lot easier. But I think I need to get these knee sleeves off. It'll probably help a little bit. If I'm gonna go into this, I'm just gonna go for it full stack right away and then slowly, progressively go down. If the pin's easy access, might as well just switch it down after like six or eight reps, whatever that was. towards the end of the workout and I'm still trying to hit the hamstrings somewhat hard and I don't want to do any barbell lifting. I'll turn it over to the cables for Romanian deadlifts. So pretty simple on one of these step up machines if you got it. Just hop on up. Let those cables drag. Oh. 
wall. So hopefully once all that lactic acid gets out of there, it'll have an enhanced look. So that's the thing with legs. I've gotten used to it, so you'll see me wear pants or whatever some leg days, but even if I wear shorts, I don't let it get into my head. They're gonna look the way they look during the workout. And then usually when you're fresh, that's when your legs look the best. But uh, successful leg day. Okay, leg day finished. It is hot. Hot AF, let's just put it that way. Whew. Today's post-workout, a little different today. We're trying to avoid the artificial sweeteners for a little while, let the body process all the shit that I was intaking out for a while. I was, I was dealing heavy doses per day of the artificial sweeteners, specifically sucralose. That was one of the ones popping up in all the proteins, pre-workouts, sauce, hot sauces, sauces that you put on your meal, oatmeal, um, just protein bars, everything had uh, artificial sweeteners. So making the conscious decision to cut those out for a while, try to give my body some time to recover from all that. Uh, but this is naturally sweetened. I think this uses like monk fruit or stevia this is the jocko jocko mulk it's a basic protein shake so we're going to do that and the carbs were already smashed for rice cakes so instead of the you know carb powder we usually do just some simple rice cakes will do the trick Tastes like, uh, well, this is banana, banana cream. Tastes like a glass of skim milk. Somebody was whispering in your ear, telling you it's banana. So that's my review on Jocko. But anyways, about the lift, more important things. Good lift. Um, I wasn't originally planning on squatting today, but I just so happened to throw them in. I felt a little bit of an obligation to squat actually today. Tried to uh, at least show myself squatting probably one last time for the last few weeks. I think I'm going to take a break from squatting for the foreseeable future, at least maybe through the end of the month. And then maybe revisit it. Um, not, not to say that any of my body parts are hurting or aching or anything like that. It's just, I feel that your squats are the best when your legs and body, specifically low back, is completely fresh. Um, so I wanna give my body some time to decompress, specifically my spine. And hopefully when I get back into squatting, I'll be able to squat for more reps. Um, now, I don't know if it's the factor that I'm intaking, you know, less caffeine or, you know, less doses of, you know, some vitamins that I stripped. Um, who knows? But I feel like it can't hurt to just take some time and then come back and revisit the squats. But that doesn't mean we're not going to be lifting heavy because we still will be probably with some other things. So stay tuned for that. Leg days are, are gonna be coming very often. So I appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments because the best time for me to answer questions is right now, before or after the gym. So let me know if you have anything to ask me and I'll answer it for sure in a video. We're slowly getting to that one, one, no, 200 subscriber goal. So I think we're at like 153 or something, something around there. I haven't, 
haven't really been checking too often, but um, I appreciate it. If you do enjoy this prep series, go ahead and consider subscribing. Um, it helps out a lot, so I appreciate it. Other than that, I'm trying to think what the next day of training will be. Couldn't tell you. So I'm gonna go get some food. That was prep day 17. I will see you guys in prep day 18. Peace.